Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kitty here, and today I have a little video for you. I'm going to be doing a uh, ear stretching video for you guys. So, this is just going to be hopefully not that long. I'm going to have a way more in depth one when I get up to my goal size, which is a 2 for now. And I bought some jewelry for that already, but um. So, I'm going to have a full video on all this stuff later on, whenever I get to that size, that might be, I don't even know, I'm thinking close around December-ish, give or take, might be earlier, depends, but I might keep you updated on that, whatever, and um, so yeah, let's get into this video. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys couldn't tell already, you probably couldn't see it back there, but I have what is called in my ear right now. You can see the side here, and this is the back. If you couldn't tell what this is already, this is a um, single flared tunnel. This is at a uh, 8 gauge right now, so if you angle it, you can see a little bit through it right there which I finally got to a point where I was waiting for that but um so as you can see it's only an 8 gauge so it's still a smaller size but I'm getting up there I only have three sizes left I think so um what I'm thinking of doing is making a video on the next size that I'm stretching to which is 6 because um apparently a uh, 8 to 6 transition is one of the big ones, and it supposedly hurts a decent amount. So, um, I might just do a stretch video on that. I'm probably going to do it uh, August-ish, or the end of um, this month. So, yeah, I'm going to probably do it then. I'm only going to wait like a month or so, maybe like 3-4 weeks, depending on how my ears are feeling because when I stretched the 8 gauge I really wasn't supposed to I only waited like two weeks and I just decided to try it and it worked it did hurt a little bit but it did work so I was like whatever but um here's what I do for my ears um, a lot of people say saline is the best for um, your ears like salt water H2 ocean all that type of stuff, but personally, um, I used saline for a while when I first stretched for um, the uh, lower gauges, like 14, 12. And um, I got to a point when I was at 12 gauge, and I was using saline, and um, a month through of them healing, they started to pus, get thicker, and bleed a little bit, actually. So I decided to quit using the saline after a week or two of that happening. And I moved to peroxide, which I don't know if you guys know, but it's that stuff in the uh, brown, bo uh, brown bottle. This is what it is. Hydrogen peroxide. That stuff's really good. It's, um, it's mostly used for, you know, like cleaning out uh, cuts and everything. It's a first aid antiseptic, oral um, debridging agent, whatever that is. But um, it says for minor cuts and abrasion, gargle or rinse you can use it as multiple things and personally it's worked wonders for my ears they haven't been bothered by it um i'm not sure if you're supposed to use it or not but personally i find it the best way to do it is use that because the saline as i said really was like pussing out my ears and everything and just making them thick and gooey and just disgusting so um i moved on to that and then what i was doing was um, every time I stretched, I would wait like three weeks or whatever until I start taking out the plugs and, um, or uh, tunnels, sorry, or plugs. I have um, both right here. Uh, I have plugs and tunnels. I use more of my uh, steel tapers and tunnels. I just have these because my uh, girlfriend gave them to me and I wear them on an occasion <clears throat> of when I'm not feeling the tunnels and I want something new. But, um, as I was saying, what I usually do is I, after, um, three weeks or so of progressively cleaning them at least once a day with hydrogen peroxide, 
what I do is I get vitamin E oil. Um, first of all, I take a shower with my <clears throat> with my tunnels out. And then while they're out, um, you know, just wash them. I get um, some natural soaps that are made out of all natural things. My mom is all, all natural crap, so I use that and I just kind of massage, excuse me, my earlobe. And you can do this with the jewelry in too. What I, if um, I'm not ready to take them out yet, I usually just push my earring out like this a little bit and just rub my finger underneath here. And um, then on the back, I just kind of um, push it, push my ear in like that and then press the uh, front and it um, presses it out as you can see, hopefully. It presses it out of my earlobe. So um, then I just kind of wipe under there and stuff. But um, if you already are able to take them out, just, um, just rub your earlobe with the soap and water, just rinse it. Not too hot of water, not too cold. You don't want to burn your earlobes or freeze them. You want to keep the blood circulating. And afterwards, I'll um, clean my jewelry off <clears throat> in the sink with um, just water and usually hand soap. And after that, I dry them everything. I get the vitamin E oil here. You can also use like emu, em, emu, I think it is. Emu, yeah, something like that, emu oil and um, some other oils they have out there that you can use that are all natural. They have like certain piercing ones at shops and stuff, but um, vitamin E oil is good. So what I do is um, I'm just gonna pretend that I still have to keep these in, which I do. I only just stretched these like three or four days ago. So um, what I do with that is I do the same thing as I did with the soap. Just gradually just go a ring around it and then in the back, same thing. Um, if they're out, all you have to do is just put on your fingers, put it on both sides, and just massage your earlobe for a while. And that just gets the blood flowing and heals your ear a little bit, gets rid of some of the scar tissue. Obviously, it's going to take a while for that to happen, but it, after a while, it gradually um, does heal your ear. And if you do feel any discomfort, it may be your ear is healing. Or if you feel lump, um, my mom stretched her ears the other day. Um, she wanted to try it and we stretched it to a 14 with uh, the plastic ones here. Uh, they're like blue or whatever and that just fell. Um, I stretched hers and she has like a big bubble in the back of her ear and that's scar tissue. So I'm like, make sure you just wash that. And for that, you just have to take care of it. Uh, peroxide, vitamin E oil maybe downsize one size or two and just let your heel on your uh, ear heal a little bit if you really need to. Um, it really depends, like I had those when I first got my ears pierced and after I stretched, um, they disappeared. If, if I do, I do have like one or two still, but they're like on the uh, ear lobe itself, like far away from the hole. So that's not a problem for me, <clears throat> but yeah. All right, so moving on to the uh, plugs and stuff. These are just a uh, baggie, pretty much full of different plugs that my girlfriend got me. For our um, two month anniversary thingy that we did, we exchanged gifts or whatever. But, um, so I have plenty of different sizes. All these sizes come in different colors. So I'm just gonna go on these for order. So my mom did these ones, the 14 gauge with, um, that are blue, solid plugs. And then 12 gauge, sure purples. Um, 10 gauge, which are yellows. And eight gauge I don't have on me right now. I have uh, there in my, one of my jewelry baggy things because I wore those the other day and since I'm an 8 gauge I can wear those for now every once in a while then I'm gonna be going up to the 6 gauge which is just these green ones they're not that big they're pretty small still yeah at least the camera's auto focusing 
Yeah, those are six gauges. Six gauge, sorry. <clears throat> and these are four gauge. Remember, these are all acrylic. I would not suggest stretching with these or wearing the plugs all the time. You can, but remember, these are very porous, so you do have to be careful on using them because they can gradually increase your risk of infection and all that shit. And personally, I found the stainless steel to slide right in your ear way better than these because my mom had, it took her forever to finally get the tapers in. In one ear, it took like 30 minutes to an hour, which was bad, but, and she's had her ears pierced for 20 years. So, and then my goal size here, which is two gauge. These are honestly not that big. Um, they're pretty small actually, compared to um, like double zero shit. But um, I'm going up to two gauge, hopefully. I've got a few pieces of jewelry I bought for two gauge, and I'm getting some more soon from Hot Topic. They're having like a hot mess sale. And then um, here's zero gauge. And I was thinking maybe of going up to this size. I'm not absolutely sure though, because zero gauge is a decent size, and um, the plugs are a good size to be able to see things through it and um because the two gauge holes aren't really that big and if you wear tunnels they look decent but they're not like oh wow i can really see through your like these eight gauges you can't see jack shit through these ears through my ears unless you um get it on the right angle and it's really small so it's i don't know if i can get it there you go it's really small and it's hard to see through but then i don't know i might I really hope I don't, but um, double zero. I really don't want to go to this size because if I go to this size, then um, there's really no going back. There's no um, permanent point that you can go to before um, it stops healing. Like people say, oh, two gauge you can go to, and then after that, um, your ears will heal fine. Really it depends on your body. That's the whole problem with this, but. Um, I am worried about it. People say, oh, you shouldn't be worried about it if you're doing this, blah, 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 blah. It's probably not a good idea to do it then. But personally, I'm just doing it because, honestly, it brings me enjoyment. Um, it's like one of those pleasure things. Like, it really makes me feel better about myself for some reason. I just really like the way they look and everything. But um, that's really it. Uh, I hope you guys uh, like this video. It wasn't really that short. But um, remember to like favorite and subscribe share to your facebook twitter google plus and all that stuff and um come back next time for more gaming videos and stuff and i'm sure i'll have more vlogs like this of uh doing shit with my ears and shit and uh yeah so hopefully next next size i'll be able to uh make a little video for you guys and go through the steps i usually do for stretch before stretching and while stretching and after stretching so yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time later